Welcome aboard the Bitcoin Express. My name is Chase. Let's get to it. Paul Tudor Jones, legendary Wall Street investor, has reported that his hedge fund is buying Bitcoin. And the reason this is such a big deal is because Paul Tudor Jones is a regular traditional guy in the financial world. He's not crypto crazy. He's not a crypto fanatic. He even specifically stated, I am not a crypto nut. So when we hear reports of these crypto companies buying Bitcoin or other cryptocurrencies, wow, big deal. But when it comes from a traditional financial expert or financial legend that everyone respects, it's a big deal. When it comes to something controversial like Bitcoin, no one wants to be first and certainly no one wants to be last. So with Paul Tudor Jones coming out embracing Bitcoin, saying he's buying it, this essentially gives permission to other hedge funds to buy Bitcoin. Now, is Paul Tudor Jones the first hedge fund to buy Bitcoin? Not necessarily and not likely, but all the other hedge funds that do it, they keep it hush-hush, they keep it quiet because it's not something in traditional finance you really want to openly admit and let the world know. So by Paul Tudor Jones coming out, this definitely gives more permission or comfort to other hedge funds to really jump into this space. Now, why is Paul Tudor Jones buying Bitcoin? The reason is he believes it is the best bet against inflation or the best hedge against inflation. With the unprecedent, unprecedented money printing and stimulus from the Federal Reserve and the US government, he believes this is the best way to hedge or protect his investment or the portfolio for his investors. And he, and it's, he says that it reminds him of gold in the 1970s. And it was in the 1970s, specifically 1971, that the US dollar came off of the gold standard. In 1971, the price of one ounce of gold was $43 an ounce. And today, in 2020, it's over $1,700 per ounce. So as you can see, he sees a lot of room for Bitcoin. And that's why he likens it to gold. This article in front of me I have, the headline, the headline states, no, Paul Tudor Jones is not buying Bitcoin. He's buying Bitcoin futures. And this is something important to clarify. Paul Tudor Jones is not buying Bitcoin like you or I would, where you buy it maybe from an exchange or another party, and then you store it in your own wallet. He bought futures contracts that will expire and settle at a certain date. And we still don't know, it's still unclear whether these future contracts will be settled through cash or whether they'll be settled with Bitcoin itself. So how much Bitcoin is Paul Tudor Jones hedge fund buying? Well, he said, quote, a low single digit amount of Bitcoin. And this could be 1%, 2%, or 3%. But the common thought or the common idea in traditional finance that if a financial institution or a hedge fund is going to buy something like Bitcoin that's so risky, maybe just put in 1%. And the reason why 1% works is because there's asymmetric risk with Bitcoin. You put in 1%, you might lose it. But that 1% you put in, it also has the potential to five times itself, 10 times itself, or even 20 times itself. And there are very few things that exist that give you that potential. So we don't know if it's 1%, 2%, or 3%, but again, it's very important. It's very big news that he's embracing it and announcing this openly. And he calls it, or I guess you would say the reason why he's buying it is because of the great monetary inflation which will be an unprecedented expansion of every form of money, unlike anything the developed world has ever seen. This money printing going on around the world, it's not just the trillions happening in, in America, it's all over the place. And it's really something we've never seen before. We don't know how this will play out, but in the mind of Paul Tudor Jones, he believes that Bitcoin is the best bet against this possible inflation. So overall, whether Paul Tudor Jones bought physical Bitcoin or he's buying Bitcoin through futures contracts, this is a very bullish indicator. And again, this gives permission to other hedge funds to enter this space without having to hide it. I hope that you found value in this video. If you like the content, like the video, subscribe to the channel. Thank you for listening and I'll see you next time.